Hey, what's up? How's it going? Well, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be coping with an angle grinder. And this is actually my first time and first attempt at this. So I figured I would make a video and kind of take you along and show you my thought process on it and what I think about it. A lot of people have told me about this technique and I just haven't tried it yet. But I recently ordered an angle grinder and it came in a few days ago and it's a nice sunny Sunday so I figured I would go ahead and make a video about it and just share with you my thoughts on it and my first time experimenting with it so let's go ahead and get started all right so to start this thing off I'm just gonna be doing a um, little four and a quarter inch colonial crown I'm cutting this nested in the miter saw and I'm just gonna cut a 45 degree miter on this piece here all right so let's give this a shot i went ahead and traced my clean edge there my finished edge with pencil lead just so i know not to go beyond that and um, <clears throat> obviously the idea with the cope is you're going to back cut all this material right here where that you can see that mdf color showing so all right here whoops all right there and um you're gonna cut that back so you can have a real nice tight fit even if the wall isn't exactly a 90 degree corner. So I'm gonna be using the angle grinder with a 50 grit uh, disc in there. And we're gonna give this a shot. Let's give it a shot. So I'm gonna probably go do this really slow so you have to bear with me. Alright, there's my first attempt. Not too bad. I did wonder a little bit right there and there, but I'm seriously not comfortable with this tool at all. I've never owned an angle grinder. This is my first one. So I'm right now I'm trying to figure out how close can I really get without getting on my finish line. And I guess I kind of lost the steady hand a little bit right there and there. But not too bad really for my first try. I guess my first initial thoughts are this thing freaking tears through that MDF. I'd like to try it on a pine or something. I'm gonna clean this up with the file. That's, that's as comfortable as I feel I can get with an angle grinder with my skill level right now. But uh, I would definitely give this a shot on some jobs. Like we're doing baseboard tomorrow. I might just throw this in the truck and give it a shot on some of those corners. See how tight we can get it to fit. And I tried to really focus on the, um, mostly on the back cut, cause that's kind of what gives you your clean copes is when you get that back cut real good. So then I'll just work up to my line with the file. And we might be in business here. 
but definitely as of right now way more comfortable with the coping saw but this will be a skill i can develop and use in the future because if i can get good at this it might save some some time and i was just kind of saving that piece right there just to see if i could do it with the angle grinder but i'm going to go ahead and straighten that out I did get pretty close to it though. I was able to save it. The next thing I'm gonna do is take some of this sandpaper. This has adhesive on it on the back so it has a sticky back. And I'm just gonna put it onto a scrap piece and then I can kind of sand that down to make the perfect fit. So this is a really good idea for any kind of coping that you're doing. But like it says, it's a 120 grit and I'm gonna put that on a piece of uh, scrap crown that I have and you can see I'm just bending this piece of sandpaper into that colonial profile of this crown it's kind of hard to get into that little groove so I just ran my knife there and now it's firmly in there so now that this sandpaper is wrapped on here tightly what I'm going to do is cut it to size and then I'll have a perfect sanding block for my cope and then here's that sanding block you can see how it's going to fit right in there just to give me a nice nice area to sand against and it's the perfect shape of the molding but overall i mean that's that's a pretty tight fit considering first try all right so here's what we're working with first try it's not too bad, but I'll definitely guarantee you it's not the cleanest cope around. But just some of my initial thoughts on the process. As far as speed goes with this process, for me at least, I don't think it's any faster than a coping saw. I'm not that good with an angle grinder. I don't. It's not a tool that I'm familiar with or really even comfortable with yet. So as far as speed, I could do the same thing with a coping saw in the same amount of time. Um, so that's definitely not a win for the angle grinder. Uh, one good thing about the angle grinder is that you can just hog that material out so fast. I mean, I bet if I developed the skill and got good with it, and I could really get to my finish line quickly, I could make that tool into a very valuable tool for me. But at this point, like I said, first try. But um, I guess one of the cons of the angle grinder is that it's going to be throwing that dust everywhere especially like this mdf it's not a good thing to be just be throwing that around definitely going to need to wear a respirator to make it you know healthy for you but uh overall as far as like versus a coping saw i don't think at this point i don't think it's better than a coping saw coping saw for me has kind of always been like a meditation where all your focus in the world is on this line just keeping it on that line so I kind of like using the coping saw but the angle grinder is definitely something to consider for coping it just needs to be a skill that's developed and the coping saw is not going to throw dust all around the area so that's kind of my first initial thoughts on this and I guess we'll, time will only tell if I actually use this thing on the job site. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed my first little journey of coping with an angle grinder. I thought it was pretty fun and at least interesting, get you some up close shots of the process there. But that was actually a comment from someone in, on YouTube. Actually, several comments was said, hey, why don't you try a coping saw for your, I mean, why don't you try an angle grinder to cope out your moldings? So, uh, thanks for those who have commented that and if you have any other cool tricks or suggestions just leave them in the comments below and like I just tried this one I'll definitely try them because this stuff is super interesting to me so if you guys know anything I don't know I'm learning just as much as you so thanks for coming along for the ride and I'll see you on the next video take care